Hello soon to be nurse practitioners. I am Miss Cohen and this is the nurse practitioner boards review orthopedics. So for this review, we're going to go over orthopedic maneuvers. That's right. Feels like it's a history class remembering all these names, but I'm going to make it easy for you. So hang on. We're going to discuss and go over drawer sign, Blackman sign, McMurray's test, Apley's test, Finkelstein test, Fallon's maneuver and Tinnell's sign, straight-legged racing test, and hook test. For imaging, you have to understand when to use an x-ray versus an MRI versus a CT scan. We're going to go over fractures and focus on navicular fracture, pelvic and hip fracture, medial tibial stress syndrome or fracture, sprains. Then we're gonna talk about tendonitis, such as supraspinatus tendonitis, epicondylitis, lateral versus medial, orthopedic conditions. You have to be very comfortable with cauda equina syndrome, low back pain, val gum versus val rum. I got a good, good image to show you on that one. Plantar fasciitis, Morton's neuroma, ruptured Baker cyst, carpal tunnel syndrome, Raynaud's phenomenon, and here's a big one, arthritis. We will discuss the difference between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis and gout. And we're gonna talk lastly about lupus and bone health assessment. So the purpose of putting this lecture together is specifically for the visual learners uh, who like pictures and or if you want to listen to this review on the go, you can certainly just press play and hear me speak. Here we go. So orthopedic maneuvers and signs, right? Let's start with the drawer sign. Now, guys, don't get too frustrated. Let's think this through. Think of the name, drawer sign. What is a drawer? You put your clothes, your underwear, your socks in a drawer. You open it like a drawer and you close it, right? That's exactly the movement that you're doing here on the knee. You are pulling the leg out, right? Creating that drawer-like motion and closing the drawer by pushing the leg in. That is your drawer sign. So what are you testing for? Well, for ligament instability or ruptures, uh, specifically the ACL or the PCL. So let's look at this diagram right over here to give you a visual understanding of what you're checking. You have right here, you see the bone, you see your meniscus, you have an interior ligament and you have a posterior. If these are intact, it won't let you slide the leg forward and back too much because there's a ligament that is holding it in place. Now, somebody had an injury and ruptured one of these, for example, the interior, as you open the drawer or the posterior, as you open the drawer, it's going to give you a lot more give, right? Because there's nothing holding it in place. Same thing when you push it back. And that's how you check for anterior or posterior, um, the ACL or PCL integrity with this drawer-like motion. So abnormal forward or backward sliding of the tibia with respect to the femur, indicating laxity or tear of the anterior forward slide and posterior backward slide, cruciate ligament of the knee. I hope that was easy. All right, and here's the picture of how the lady's pushing the knee in or out, checking for this. So let's talk about Lachman sign. When I think of Lachman, I like to think of the word what it sounds like to me. Lack, lack. It's like you're pulling. It's an aggressive sound. Lack. That's how I remember Lachman sign. It also uh, tests for the ACL, but in this case, it is more sensitive than the anterior drawer. So keep that in mind. Lachman, you are pulling the tibia forward and if it has more give it's because there's an injury to the ACL. With patient on a supine position and then he flexed at 20 degrees or so, the tibia is pulled anteriorly, lack. 
A give reaction or mushy endpoint indicates a torn ACL. McMurray test. So a lot of students ask me, how do I remember McMurray versus McMurphy versus Mac whatever else is out there? Well, I like to think of orthopedics and x-rays, right? Because with bone and x-rays, that's how you see bones best. So when I look at the word McMurray, first of all, Ray, the word Ray is in McMurray, as in Ray, x-ray. So when I see McMurray, Ray, I think of an x-ray, I think of bones versus McMurphy, all right? That is not bones, that's something else. So McMurray, and the other thing that I like about this name is that it has the letter M. And what are you testing with McMurray? You're testing for meniscal tear, which also starts with an M. So McMurray, we're talking about Ray, we're talking about x-rays, we're talking about bones, and the M is for meniscal tear. So what is happening here? Occurrence of a cartilage click during manipulation of the knee, indicative of meniscal injury. Gold standard test would be an MRI. We'll talk about the testing differences here, but look at the pictures that I've provided for you. So when we talk about the meniscus, right, we're talking about the padding in between the bones, right? Look at the picture, the meniscus right over here. It's that padding. So if something happened to it, you're gonna hear this click. In this case, you rotate the foot inward and outward at a 90 degree angle or so, if you hear a click, there's something wrong. So McMurray for meniscal tear, Ray for bones. I hope that helped you. So the Apley, Apley's test, also known as the compression test or grinding. So what are we checking for here? We're also checking for meniscal injury. And when I look at the word Apley, I like to think of apply, because I'm going to apply pressure or compression to the knee to check for the integrity of the meniscal um, injury or for the meniscus, right? The integrity of the meniscus. So what you do here is that you have the patient facing down, you bend the knee and you're going to press the leg down and literally grind. That's gotta be painful if you tell me. But tibial rotation on the femur with traction or compression with the patient prone and the knee flex is going to cause discomfort if there's something wrong with the meniscus. So again, please, I'm going to apply pressure to, or compression to the leg as I push it down and I'm going to twist it and see if it causes this discomfort or if there's any weird feeling or noise to it. There shouldn't be. And this is your Apley's test or grinding test. And the Finkelstein test. If you found this review helpful, I welcome you to come and check the remaining of the review at cohenreview.teachable.com. In this website, you'll find other reviews that I have uploaded covering many systems reviews in, with the purpose of helping you study uh, and pass your boards. In addition to the reviews, I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you're not sure if you're ready to take the exam or not, come and shoot me an email. Let's talk about it. I'll set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting where I get to assess your readiness to take the boards and I can give you some kind of study guide into what your weaknesses are and your strengths are, and we can talk in more detail so I can better guide you into studying for the nurse practitioner boards. So best of luck with your studies. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at shiracohen at gmail.com. Good luck.